you called Khalif a uh, prophet. Why? Well, um, you know, we've seen prophets come in many shapes and forms, and uh, we've seen, uh, you know, sometimes tragedy happens for our prophets, Martin Luther King, and, you know, I believe this young man, his story will save a lot of lives. You know, uh, what was done to him was a huge injustice, and I think people will see his, his story and realize, like, man, this is going on. This is not like a one case that happened. This is. This is happening a lot for people, you know, especially places where I come from, in the boroughs and Marcy projects and Bronx and Brooklyn and all these places. So it's very important, this story. You knew Khalif. What were your thoughts when he committed suicide? I wouldn't say I knew him. You know, I heard about his story and I reached out to him and I met him, came to my office. The way this all happened was really, we'll explain that another time, but it was meant to happen. And um, he came to my office and I just, you know, wanted to see him and tell him that, uh, give him encouragement for what he had just, um, for those three years of his life that he was, uh, that he had missed. And, you know, just offer encouragement and anything I could do for him. Do you think Rikers should be closed? Oh, man. Uh, well, if anything like that is happening, if, one, if that happens to one kid, any place that that can happen to any kid should be close. That was Jay-Z.